Hi K-Dramatics! Do you remember the Squid Game? For those of you who don't know what Squid Game is, it was actually a Netflix survival drama that shot to the top of entertainment world when it premiered in September 2021, receiving rave reviews from critics and capturing the attention of viewers around the world. It was the latest in a string of successful launches for a foreign language film or television series that began with Parasite's Oscar sweep at the 92nd Academy Awards. The story of Squid Game centers on Shong Gihan, a gambler and divorcee who enters a competition in which he and 455 other financially challenged contestants compete in a series of sadistically reinvented children's games for the chance to win a large cash reward. A new corpse means more money for the winner, so Gihun teams up with some old pals and some new ones to get it through the task alive and with his sanity still intact. Some of South Korea's best actors are in the show, and many of them got their well-deserved time in the spotlight because of how popular Squid Game was. We can only imagine that their futures will be bright, especially since news about the show's second season is on the way. So what have the stars of the widely praised K-drama been up to since the show's finale? And where can we catch them if we miss them? In this video, we are going to find out what the stars of Squid Game are up to now. Starting with our lead actor, we have Lee Jung Jae. Lee Jung Jae was already one of South Korea's top actors before Squid Game, in which he received a Primetime Emmy and a Golden Globe nomination for his depiction of protagonist Shong gi -hun. Since then, he has naturally found himself in the middle of a wide variety of productions. At some point in the near future, Lee will become a part of the Star Wars universe, as he has been cast as a leading actor opposite Amanda Stenberg in The Acolyte, an action thriller series that takes place 100 years before the events of The Phantom Menace and is set in the late High Republic era of the Star Wars timeline. One of the creators of Russian Doll, Leslie Headland, is running the program now that it's in pre-production. Also, in the upcoming TV series Ray, which is a spin-off of the upcoming South Korean action film Deliver Us From Evil 2020, Lee will reprise his role as Ray Sun, a vengeful killer. Furthermore, he has been cast as the main character in Wiretap, an upcoming film whose release date and character intricacies are both shrouded in mystery. A police team in this film wiretaps a company they believe is trying to manipulate the stock market. Next is Park Hae Soo. As we wait for more information about Squid Game's second season, Park Hae Soo, who plays Gi Hoon's childhood friend Cho Sang Woo, is also keeping quite busy. Park will be in the upcoming South Korean movie Phantom which is about five prisoners being held by the Japanese army during the Japanese colonization of Korea in 1933. Each of them is thought to be the real phantom, a spy for an anti-Japanese group, and they soon realize that they have to stop being suspicious of each other if they want to stay alive. Park plays Kaito, who is in charge of the search for phantom. Park will also be in the Korean disaster movie The Great Flood, which is set to come out on Netflix in 2023. He will play Hee-jo, who is one of the main characters. He and Kim Dami's character Anna both struggle to stay alive when a huge flood hits the world and causes their apartment building to sink into the harsh depths. Coming up next is Wee Haju, who played police officer Huang Junho in the highly acclaimed Netflix series, appears to be enjoying some downtime between seasons of The Squid Game. He will reprise his role as Jong Do-hyun in the upcoming second season of the Korean web series Shark the Beginning, in which he plays a mixed martial arts fighter who meets the series protagonist Cha Woo Sol in a juvenile prison and becomes obsessed with pushing Cha to his limits. Now let's talk about Jung Ho-yun. Fresh off her Squid Game performance as North Korean defector Kang Sebyok is preparing up for her first feature film in The Governesses, an upcoming A24 film in which she will star with Lily Rose Depp and Renate Reinsvig. The film, directed by Joe Talbot and based on the book of the same name, follows the mischievous adventures of three governesses, each played by one of the aforementioned actresses, who abandon their work as servants and educators to the children of a wealthy couple, instead choosing to indulge in increasingly carefree and sensual escapades, much to the delight of those around them. She will also play Kim an ambitious co-worker of protagonist Catherine Ravenscroft and the upcoming Apple TV thriller series Disclaimer with Kate Blanchett. 
And now, for the antagonist, we have Yo Sung Tae. Hyo Sung Tae has already racked up over 60 acting credits, including the role of Jang Dok Su in Squid Game, a gambler who enters the tournament in the hopes of paying off his gambling debts and he shows no signs of slowing down. The upcoming Korean drama Chronicles of Crime will star Hyo as the con artist Hee Dae. His character will oppose the show's hero, Detective Cho Hee Pal. Finally, Kim Joo Ryong, who made an impression as the manipulative con woman Han Min Yo, has a pair of upcoming feature roles in rehabilitation in Nolbum Garden. The Nolbum Garden is a short film that will be included in the horror anthology Taste of Horror, and it follows a paramedic who becomes caught in a disturbing liminal realm after suffering an injury during a rescue attempt. Meanwhile, in the latter, she will play Sohi, the protagonist's elder sister, a widow who begins having walking nightmares after visiting Nolbum Garden, a restaurant inherited from her late husband. Oh, and we almost forgot! We have a bonus character. The Korean actress Lee Yumi is deserving of acclaim for her work in Squid Game. To help Sae Byok win the Marbles game, Lee portrayed the character Ji Young, who gave her life. However, following the success of the drama, the actress took on the role of an antagonist, Ji Young's polar opposite. Lee portrayed the most loathed character, Naeon, in the Netflix original Korean horror comedy All of Us Are Dead. Although there is not yet a release date for season 2, Dong Yuk has indicated to Vanity Fair that it may take place between the end of 2023 or the beginning of 2024. Because there were so many deaths in the first season, and by that we mean a lot of deaths, the cast is moving into the second season in a significantly reduced form. This indicates that in the future, there will need to be the introduction of a large number of additional characters. In a tweet, Dong Hyuk informed us that the main character Song gi -hun, also known as Player456, will be making a return, as will the game overseer, the frontman Lee Byung-hun. In addition, there is speculation that the man in the suit with Duck Ji may return. Do not, under any circumstances, take him up on his offer to play. That's all for today's video. By the way, before we end this video, I would like to ask you guys which game from the series is your most favorite. Let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap on the notification bell to see more videos like this. Annyeong!